Okay, shalom, shalom, kwam yasha Allah, ko haloyim la yahoo ba shim yahoo shai, ba hashim recha hakodash, the honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well, and that by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth, and just want to say the water to the Akim and Akwa, that's out here sincerely, keeping the laws, the statutes, and commandments of Yahweh ba shim yahoo shai to the best of their ability, Zachanan the Wap, just coming at you with another quick, quick lesson, praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And wanted to touch on, um, well, I'm just going to go off into, I ended up uh, getting a ticket a little while ago, right? <laughs> so this is um, Romans 13 and 1, right? We're going to start from, you know, because a lot of um, newcomers, a lot of people don't know how to really deal with the officers or de deal with um, cops, authority, um, people that are, you know, even a, a, a damn the person that's above you at your job that's giving you orders, so to speak, you know, the Lord has set up a way that everything is done decently in the order. So, you know, when he pulled me over, I'm like, what the hell going on? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I didn't even know what, what I had done and still don't even know if, it, you know, but I'm assuming that, you know, you know, he's an Edomite, damn white cop. He, you know, was telling the truth. I didn't, I wasn't paying attention like that, though. Like, you know, I'm just rolling through the light. I'm thinking the light is still green. He's telling me that I ran a red light. But, you know, you know, anyway, long story short, you know, uh, and this was just a little while ago. I was, you know, I'm at the plantation because, you know, I kind of drive, you know, for the plantational work that I do. So, you know, I'm telling him, I'm looking at him. He's in the left lane, turning lane, and I'm just behind him. I'm not turning. I'm going straight ahead. And, you know, so the light changed. I'm, I'm following him behind the rest of the traffic. And then, you know, he gets out of the left turning lane and not making the left that he was going to make and get him behind me, turn on the lights. I'm like, well, what the fuck is going on? You know what I'm saying? What did I do? So, you know, I pull over. I make, you know, turn at the light, little light, you know, because it was only like a, I don't even know why they even have it like that. But most of Esau eat them shit as speed traps anyway. But, you know, it's a light. Then about another 20 feet, 30 feet, 40 feet whatever it's another light so i'm making it left right there you know he hit the lights on me i pull over throwing the hazards you know what i'm saying throw the, the you know the rod and park he comes to the window like oh you know you ran that red light i'm like i'm like well damn why would i run a red light and you right beside me <laughs> you know he's like oh i can show you the cam camera work i'm like well yeah i would like to see it you know but you know i ended up giving him my license registration all that good little stuff like that you know he goes to his you know, um, and matter of fact, it was a sheriff. It wasn't even like a regular police officer for that particular city that I was in. So, um, but anyway, just wanted to go off into mercy and just dealing with uh, police officers in general. So this is Romans 13 and one. Um, it's entitled be subject to government on the um, KJV side and on the NLT side, the New Living Translation, it says respect for authority. Okay, verse 1, it says, Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. For there is no power but of Yahweh. The powers that be are ordained of Yahweh. So, you know, me being into the scriptures and, you know, going on, on, on here doing lessons and teaching. I've done lessons on this multiple times. You know, I didn't have no problems with the officer at all. You know, I'm, hey, you know, just speaking with him regularly, like, um, you know, cordially and, and, and with order. You know, like, well, hey, my bad. You know, hey, I, <laughs> I didn't see me running it, but I'm saying, I will, you know, if you're going to show me the camera work, hey, I'll look at it. But I mean, hey, just go ahead and do your thing. Here's my license registration, you know, and all this good stuff. I'm not going to argue with this man. You know, he has the power to kill. <laughs> the scriptures talks about that. Stay away from the man that has the power to kill. I'm going to give him my stuff. Let him go ahead and do his thing. He can run it. I could either go to court and fight what he's saying or. You know what I'm saying? I could, um, you know, just pay the ticket or whatever. Anyway, I'm not going to argue with this man. Why? Because this man is set up and ordained by Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Verse 2, it says, Whosoever therefore resisteth the power, which I didn't, resisteth the ordinance of Yahweh. So being in this truth, man, is a beautiful thing because it shows you how to um, get down out here. It, 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 it maneuvers you around a lot of, um, basically it maneuvers you around death. Because the Lord, he placed life and death before us. Okay, it says, um, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance. Salaki, so that's the apostle. Tahar about to do a premiere. Um, whosoever therefore resisteth the power, resisteth the ordinance of, of Yahweh. And they that resist shall receive to themselves damnation. So I'm not trying to receive no damnation by resisting this man. Because what am I? This man has the, he has the power to just get on a radio. And within a few seconds, he could say, <laughs> 
Negro fleeing or whatever. Negro doing this, 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 and this. I need backup. And they'll have every cop, sheriff, they even down to the National Guard, whatever, man. This man has the ability to call in a helicopter on you, man. So when it comes to Jake just out here just recklessly doing shit, just go ahead and just... And, and especially if you riding bold. If you riding bold, you should be able to... You definitely need to be um, using some wisdom with your words and talking. But, you know, I pray to Yahweh before he even pulled. Every time that happens, though, I, hey, I, I pray to Yahweh like Yahweh. I don't know what's up, but you know what's going on. You know, please handle the situation for me. And I just um, cordially gave him my, my information after kicking it with him for a second. I'm like, well, hey, sorry, officer. You know what I'm saying? And you got to, hey, you got to, you got to. Use some wisdom out here, man, when you're dealing with um, Esau Edom, man, the so-called white man, these officers, man. And even with um, Jake officers, you know, respect goes a long way. That, that's even just on the streets. You know, people don't like disrespect. And, and plus, he has the power to say, hey, I'm going to do this, this. I can tow your vehicle and have you, you know, it may be some bullshit I can get, but I can have I can make you have a rough day. <laughs> I don't want a rough day from Esau, man. Verse three again, it says, for rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Wilt thou then be afraid of the power? Do that which is good, and thou shalt have praise of the same. You see, these rulers, man, the Lord, he set them up, whether you may think they're um, wicked or not. Some of them are wicked as hell. But the Lord, you know, hey, the Lord, he creates. The scripture talks about how the Lord um, created the wicked for even for the day of evil. So he can have a wicked ass cop just to get at a wicked ass nigga. I, I said that we, we talked about that um, during the camp this past Saturday. Verse four says, for he is the minister of Yahweh to do thee good. But if thou do that, which is evil, be afraid for he beareth not the sword in vain, which is that gun, pepper spray, taser, billy club, flashlight <laughs> and the rest of his team to come and choke your ass out if need be. If you're not compliant. Right. It says, for he bear not the sword in vain, for he is the minister of Yahweh, a revenger to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore, ye must needs be subject not only for wrath, but also for conscience sake. See, it says for this cause, pay ye tribute also, for they are God's ministers attending continually upon this very thing. <laughs> so. And that's just police officers. That's, you know, that age. So if, we, if you ever have to go to court, you want to be yes, sir, judge. Yes, ma'am, judge, whatever. You know, you want to be using some, you know, some 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 damn wisdom. Like I said, again, the scripture says be as, as um, wise as a serpent, but harmless as a dove, because we are we're out here amongst wolves, man. Now, you know, I'm just going to go ahead and pay the ticket. It's a little bit of a little bit of money. I'm not tripping on it, but. What I wanted to, you know, basically get into this this lesson as well. Let me pull this other scripture before. Um, let me see. Let's see if we can get this. Oh, okay, I might be spelling that wrong. Yeah, Matthew 5 and 25. Agree with thine adversary quickly while thou art in the way with him, lest at any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. <laughs> so that, hey, I'm just going to go ahead and pay the ticket. You know what I'm saying? Because I might have did ran it. I wasn't paying no attention like that. I'm just thinking like, you know, the, the, the traffic is moving. He's right there. They had a road close as to where he was about to make the left at. So, you know, I'm just looking like, do this other person, do they want to, you know, am I going to allow them to get in front of me? You know, you know what I'm saying? Because they couldn't make the left anyway. The sheriff, well, he could have went through there if he wanted to, I guess. You know, he's the law. But the road was um, cut off. They had to, you know, it had it barricaded off. So he couldn't make the left. So I'm just rolling on through the traffic. So if it turned red while I was doing that, then he got me. You know what I'm saying? But I wasn't going to argue with him about it. But what happened was. He came back to the truck. Of course, he ticketed me. He gave me a ticket. But what he said was, you know, that was the Yahweh Bashim Yahweh. I seen it as, you know, using wisdom by the spirit. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shot showing me mercy, you know, because he he was like, you know what? I'm not going to, you know, this is not for, you know, I'm, I'm not going to. I didn't write it down as being you ran a red light. I wrote it down as, you know, impeding traffic. That way you don't have any points because, you know, where I'm at, I could have got three points. 
on my, um, you know, for that ticket. And the ticket would have been a lot more money. So the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh he showed me mercy. You know what I'm saying? Through this, this particular, this, through this, this Edomite officer. Now, I'm not going to say he's an Edomite. He could have been. I mean, of course, he has the total appearance of an Edomite. You know, we're not going to, you know, we don't go by that, though. So let me make a correction there because um, we do have um, Israelites that look like the so-called white man. So that's the reason why I'm saying that, because it's not a skin color thing. It's a DNA thing. You know, you have to come from Abraham, Isaac and Jacob to be an Israelite. And you can look like any nation in the world because we've been scattered throughout the four corners of the earth and our forefathers have had sex with the women of the other nations. And as generation to generation goes on, you know, color has been lost. The look has been lost and we look like other nations. But you can tell by that salt because we are the salt of the earth. And you can tell, you know, if Jake, um, if their spirit resonates with the spirit of the scriptures, then they could be an Israelite. So, you know, but overall, I pray to Yahweh and I didn't know what was going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Well, he never did show me that that footage. And I, I didn't even care about it. You know, I was just like, you know what? All right, let me just go ahead. And I've and I done a lot, too. You know, I cast a lot, you know, and I asked you, how do you want me to go to court about this? Or do you want me to pay it? And the answer was, I'm going to go ahead and pay it. Go ahead and pay it. Because that was mercy. Because like I said, I could have got three points on my license. As opposed to with this particular ticket that he, he signed out because he said it. He was like, you know what? You told me that you, you drive for a living and I don't want to mess that up for you. You know what I'm saying? So I just wrote down impeding, you know, um, traffic or whatever. I'm like, oh, OK, cool, cool. You know what I'm saying? You know, hey, hey the water, <laughs> you know, I said thanks and I'll go and handle it. And he walked away and he jumped in his ride. I, I put the truck back in drive and I kept on going. I was a probably like a 10 minute interaction that I had with that guy, you know, so. Well, let's go into this scripture right here. Because like I said, again, you know, Esau now with, with, with regular Jake, you know, J hey, Jake not into this truth because, you know, hey, we the Lord is merciful, merciful towards us, man. And then he's the one that provides it. It's not like it's my money. It's actually the Lord's money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, <laughs> I mean, because it is what it is. We're just looking for our. Um, and that's something I need to focus on more, you know, is our daily bread. Just focusing on our daily bread, man, because we're about out of here. And we're about to go into a kingdom where there's never going to be no other nation of people, no damn heathen pulling us over, talking about you done this or you done that. Never. You know, we're, we're, we're just patiently waiting, man. That's where you go into Revelation 13 and 10. The saints are patiently and faithfully waiting. Hey, that's what we're, we're just waiting. But let's, let me get this one real quick. Proverbs 16 and 7. And it reads, when a man's ways please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. See? And so that's one of the scriptures that, that came to mind by the spirit. Because, you know, it, hey, Esau is an enemy. Of course he's an enemy. But guess what? When, I, when I'm at the plantation and I'm... <laughs> hey, they, 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 they be really like... These, these Edomites, and, and, and where I work at, it's pretty much the whole company is Edomites. 99, 98 to 99% of them Edomites, but I got a good rapport with them, you know, because I use these scriptures. I use the wisdom of Yahweh by Shem Shai. I could be running through there like, oh man, these Edomites, I ain't gonna say, you know, hey, I'm, hey, how you doing? <laughs> hey, you know, because like I said again, the scripture says to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. I could have been, you know, the average Jake would have been, oh man, I ain't gonna, what the, you know, what you pulling me up, you know? Nah, man, hey, how you doing, officer? You know what, what happened? Uh, well, you, 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 I just gave him my information. And like I said again, hey, he could have gave me that red light ticket, man. And I could have had three points off my joint. Now, you know, I just got to pay a little cheaper price, which is nothing. Cheaper ticket and no points. Because I'm like, well, look, officer, you know what I'm saying? I just explained it to him. Like, well, why would I run a red light in front of you? You sitting right there. I'm looking at you. And then I said, well, I work. This is what I do for a living. I need my, my license to be clean, so to speak. So why would I take a chance of running a red light? He was like, well, I mean, it changed on you. I'm like, man. <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I wasn't going to go ahead. I wasn't going to argue with him or nothing like that. You know, it ain't no use of me taking it to court. Fuck it. I might as well just pay it, pay it. Keep it moving. Be a little more alert and careful the next time. You know what I'm saying? And possibly even record myself. 
You know? So, I mean, it is what it is. But like I said, I, I was just uh, appreciative of the mercy. And, um, you know, you get into the, one of those situations where you're dealing with police officers, man. Use Revelation 13 and 1. Or, um, agree with your adversary um, um, quickly. According to what was that? Matthew 5 and 25, I think it was. Because if you don't, I mean, <laughs> you can end up in, man. And, and I've been, in matter of fact, the, the very jail because he was a sheriff. And I was like, well, what city am I going to go to about this? And that very city that he mentioned, I had been to that jail before. Way back in the days, I remembered it. And they, 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 they um, fucked me over. Because it was about, matter of fact, it was about a ticket. They ended up, you know, having me out on the curb one night. Me and one of my homies was coming from a club or something. Late as hell, trying to get some damn white castles or something. He pulls off. Now, mind you, the guy that I'm with, his license fucked up. He ain't got no driver's license. He ain't got no insurance. I'm on the passenger side, and you know they took me to jail because I had a so-called warrant from years back about a ticket that I ain't even know about. I'm like, well, what the hell? They had me go to jail. I spent the night in jail. You know, they take Jake Belt. They take your shoestrings all over a ticket, bro. Like, nigga, I'm not suicidal about no goddamn ticket, you know, but I go before the judge. They're like, you know, well, do you want to, you can work, you know, you can do community service or you can pay the ticket. And I done community service. And then a year or so later, they pulled me over. You know, they didn't put that community service through. And I still had to go and pay for that same very, that very same ticket. That's how Esau Edom get down. I done community service for a week, cleaning up everywhere, damn graveyards, streets, <laughs> you know. And I'm thinking like, you know, they gave me, you know, I should have kept that paperwork, though, that I, I had done community service. But it had been a while and I had to move by then. Ended up getting stopped. I forgot what it was about again. And they like, oh, well, you have a ticket, you know, from I'm like, man, that's the same man. I've done community service for that. Oh, uh, well, and then it was just like, you know what? Let me just go ahead and pay this shit because they got work out of me and and still got the money for that ticket, man. So Esau, it be on some bullshit. But you know what? I'm going to make sure about this one. I'm just going to go ahead and, um, you know, pay it. See what's up. I'm, you know, I don't know if I can do it online or whatever, but I'm thinking I'm just going to go through because I want to have some physical paperwork. I want to have some physical, you know, um, 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 ticket status, so to speak. I, this is paid and I'm going to put it in my my my, uh, my books, man, you know, and keep it on me. So so in the future, they won't get me with what they got me with before. But anyway, like I said again, hey, that mercy went forth because, like I said, last thing that makes your insurance go up. When you, you know, your car insurance go up, even though I'm in a company vehicle, you know, but anyway, I didn't want them three points on my license. And that's a, you know, I got the, you know, uh, you know, chauffeurs or slash CDL or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that's how I'm getting my little, little paper. So, hey, <laughs> all praise to see how about you. I was shy for that. But, you know, I just wanted to just throw that out there real quick. You know, pray that this lesson was edifying by the spirit. If you're dealing with the officers, man, even if you don't have your stuff, just deal with them cordially. If they got to take your vehicle, just deal with them cordially. You know, don't get all irate. Don't get all out of hand. Don't you, you mother. Don't do all that. You know what I'm saying? And, and matter of fact, like I said, again, talk can go a long ways, man. You know, hey, we're the supplanters. You have to realize, matter of fact, um, um, hey, Jacob was a supplanter, man. That's what his name went into. Matter of fact, you, hey, you, Jake, man, we have a, we, we actually have a power. That no other nation has, man. You know, Jacob get down on you. And I'm saying Jake, you know, short for um, Jacob. Let me see. So you have Jacob right here, right? How do you think Jacob got down on Esau to get the birthright and, and to get the blessing? You see what I'm saying? So let me go off into this real quick. And you're going to see. Let's get this. Um, let's get the name of, of our forefather, Jacob, which his name was changed to Israel, which is... um. Which means Yasha Allah, or you know, his name was changed to Israel, or it's Yasha Allah in the, in the Paleo Hebrew, which means he's the prince of the power. Okay, so here you go, is is Yahweh, right? H thirty two ninety. Let's see how they pronounce it. Strong's H thirty two ninety. Yaakov. Yaakov. Is Yahweh. Okay, all right. Well, let's see what his name means. Heel holder or supplanter. See? Let's see this word supplanter. Let's do a web search on that. Let's see what that word means. 
A supplanter is somebody that supplants, man. That he, a supplanter will get down on you, man. It says um, a definition, supplanter definition, someone or something taking the place of another as through force, scheming, strategy, or the like. <laughs> See? And that's pretty much about what I've done with the officer. You know what I'm saying? It's not like, okay, I know, you know, I'm thinking, all right, you know, he had the spirit of a damn Edomite. But I mean, you know, I had to still get down by using the scriptures that says that be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. I wasn't going to let him know my true intentions. Of course, I don't want to pay no damn ticket. You know, I, you know, I'm thinking like, all right, you on some book, you know, whatever, <laughs> you know, I wasn't going to go all off into that. You know what I'm saying? I played him like, hey, yeah, man, hey, my bad officer. You know, I didn't didn't notice that, you know, hey, you know, I drive for a living, you know, and that's what, you know, I was telling him, I told him the whole hookup right off the jump. Like, man, I drive for a living. I seen you right there. I wouldn't have dare had, you know, run a red light right in front of you, you know, so. <laughs> so that was me supplanting him. He come back to the truck, you know. But like I said, that scripture. Go. Let me get that scripture again. That Proverbs um, sixteen is and seven. When a man's ways please Yahweh, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So you know, hey, I would like to think that my ways please Yahweh. I'm trying. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to do the best that I can on a day to day basis. Trying to do the lessons, trying to um, warn the flock, um, trying to just keep the law, statutes, and commandments to the best of my ability. You know what I'm saying? And, and just trying to live a righteous life, man. So, you know, I, I, I seen that in play and the sure mercies of David. And I felt like I, I was awarded with today, you know, so to speak. So, hey, with that, like I said again, man, hey, if you have any, any problems with any authority, so to speak, hey, be calm. Use the scriptures, man. We got to use the scriptures. This is the only way. Hey, this is our weapon. These scriptures are a literal weapon for us. See, the so-called white man, they're carnal. All that so-called white man, that cop had was his taser, his pistol, his, his you know, every his utility belt, his Batman belt, so to speak. And the, 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 the ability to call his backup. That We don't have any of that. We're, we're, we're spiritual beings. We're fighting a spiritual war and we have to use these scriptures to beat to win in this fight, man. There's no way around it. You're not going to get around that. So with that, I pray that this lesson was edifying. Kwame Shalom.